You're welcome back. This is News File, it's your most authoritative news analysis platform. And just a couple of messages and then we go check out why, uh, what is happening at the NIA where we are told that some fraud is happening there. Are these claims credible? Now, Eja Adam says that we all heard of Osama Pafo's voice in uh, their clandestine plot to cause mayhem in the country, all in the name of winning elections. The NDC's primary objective is to create a sense of heightened insecurity under the Nanado government. Akwesi Obeng says that we are not in a state of anarchy, so if Ofosan Pofu says he won't go, the law must be applied. And in respect of the NCA matters, uh, uh, my attention has been drawn to a particular decision uh, that says that, and this is from, from sources within the NCA, uh, a particular decision, and I've seen the full decision myself, that says, where the tribunal says that if you are seeking to rely on the regulation 107, which says once you apply and there's no communication to you, then automatically <laughs> you yeah. are deemed to have been renewed. renewed. Mm -hmm. the, the position is that if your application was made before the expiry date, mm. yes. then it will apply. Okay. But if your application was made post-expiry, mm. that rule does not apply. And uh, someone who has a very funny comment, he says that, imagine the way NCA is acting um, and we can't go do the same thing to get rid of a setting of being for, uh, who we have all declared as a state that is not qualified to practice medicine on the people he's doing so. Why has that hospital not been shut down still? Okay, interesting comments there. So, National um, Identification Authority is giving all of us Ghana cards. Oh, I took my, I forgot. I wanted to show it to you. It looks really nice. And when it was being done, were requested to bring all previous uh, ID cards, voters' ID card, driver's license, mm -hmm. your SNET ID, your passport, yes. all of these things best said merged into one. And I said, well, now we are arriving. But what is going on? Let's hear Professor Ken Atefa as he uh, spoke about the accusation of secret registration as raised by the NDC. But before that, we know that an officer was caught for assisting a Nigerian to register in the name of being a Ghanaian. Foreigners can, but they must register within their status. Uh, Nigerian, Nigerian. Okay, so let's listen to uh, the let's listen to former President Ro, uh, uh, Mahama as well as uh, Ken Atefa. When you have a scattering, two, three people out of about 7,000 people doing something that is criminal, attributing it to His Excellency the President, Akufuadu supervised all of those needlessly politicized the political, I mean, the, 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 the registration environment. We need to sanitize. We need to have a more hygienic conversation about the national uh, identification registration process. And in that sense, I commend His Excellency mm. President um, John Dramani Mahama for asking NIA to investigate the allegations and also urging the generality of the public to go and register for the Ghana card. I think that is a responsible position to take. Mm. I commend him mm. and that is the way, the manner, the spirit in which we ought to move as a nation and reduce the needless political hype and tenor and have a more hygienic discourse. Now we've had a case at um, Abosokai. We've had a case at um, um, Awudome, Kaneshi Awudome. There is also another one at Botiano. Now, I know of my own staff bringing to attention a case at Media. Now, in, so it's about five instances. Now, Mr. Otukono's comments are based on what he knows. What he knows is what he has shared. What he knows cannot, by any stretch of anyone's imagination on the planet, establish a claim, a well founded claim of massive fraud. That's what I'm calling, I'm calling attention no, of, to. Of, of, so, of course, so that's it's just a matter one. of words. No, so it's not I a matter just, of words, Daniel. No, excuse just, me. No, no, Daniel, no, no. Daniel I'm, I'm one calling second. it a matter of words for a reason. You'll understand when I finish. All right. You, you call it scattered. He calls it massive. I'm not saying any of you is right. 
I'm asking how you came across, how you came to your 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 choice of words. My, I came to my choice of words on the evidentiary basis. The evidentiary basis is that, and I have even volunteered two more to you. Okay. I've, yes. It's fine. And and fine. And, and, I'm, and and I'm and I'm 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 open about it because Ghan, we must enlist the support of Ghanaians to make this a successful process for all of us. And when we exaggerate and we use bombast, it creates problems. Mm. Now there is no question that out of and even if you had 10 cases you cannot by any understanding call that massive fraud and i expect that the authorities of the national identification authority will take very seriously the recent case that happened this is a national exercise it is not a partisan exercise it is supposed to register all Ghanaians of all walks of life notwithstanding your political religious or ethnic affiliation and so they should investigate what happened very well it is alleged that some people were registering in the night in a private house it is not correct for that to happen and so we should find out what the circumstances were and make sure that it doesn't happen again but i encourage all Ghanaians to come out and register for the Ghana card. So you heard head of the National Identification Authority, Professor Ken Atefa, and President John Dramani Mahama. Yes, so what is the NDC's basis of this press conference in which it raised the alarm or the claim that there is massive fraud and it is intended in the end to disenfranchise uh, NDC people? and all of that. Uh, Samson, thank you very much. You should know that President Mohammed's call on the NDC to participate in this exercise marks a paradigm shift from our earlier position. I'll be guided by the directive of the leader of our party. <coughs> and as you have followed the process, our initial objection to this process were based on two fundamental pillars. One was the law, where President Nana Dudanko himself is later to have said that if the opposition had any objection, why didn't we say so when we're doing the second reading of the revision of the bill? We sought to expunge voter ID card as a requirement for the process of registration and limit it only to passport and birth certificate. And our statistics had indicated that you had Ghanaians in the region of seven to nine million who had passport and uh, no two two million passport and maybe seven to nine million birth certificate and our difficulty was that some of your passport by official correspondent from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs under both MPP and NDC were in foreign hands they did not qualify those category of persons to register and by our assumption that does not make them Ghanaian the second was that you will be denying those who are to use voter ID card as basis. But I'm told that in the field, even National Identification Authority officials, based on a certain formula, are able to reference some of those processes to assist in the registration. A national ID remains an imperative as a country. It's long overdue. We should get it done. There's been efforts to do it over the years. Cut adente when you go to any of the French speaking countries. Yeah. And all of us, even if uh, somebody should get an accident or engage in even crime, it becomes a basis of knowing <coughs> who is a victim of crime and who is an actor of crime. And even for purpose of investment, and particularly for the banking sector, you need an identification system. So we all must support it as a national imperative. Our objections were rooted in law. And I still have some major reservations in respect of the use of the passport and the birth certificate because that limits the enjoyment of the right guaranteed under Article 42 of the Constitution. Okay. Of are, you, are you communicating this morning that the NDC has abandoned and departed from the claim of massive fraud no, and that I'll, registration I'll, were going out Samson, in people's I'll homes come, and these were orchestrated by no, MPP no, people. Samson, I'll come to it. I just wanted to build my foundation. I mm. said, I've dealt with one pillar. The second pillar was the cost 
of the national identification exercise. And I have repeatedly on multimedia, Joy FM, and on the floor of parliament, asked for some detail. Where is the financing coming from? Who is financing it? And I find it prohibitively expensive that a country will spend 1.2 billion US dollars, a country of 30 million. That will mean that about 40, 42 dollars per cart. How was this contract procured? With a government who said that sole sourcing was uh, criminal, so to speak, and was not acceptable. How was it done? So the cost was a second factor. I'm aware that they have come <coughs> to parliament for a tax exemption of 76 million US dollars. So that will add up to the cost of the state and the republic. But to do a national ID card for 1.2 billion US dollars, India just undertook similar exercise with their population. It didn't cost that much. At worst, maybe you can say per person, unit cost, mm. maybe 20 we US very dollars limited time, so I need to move on now. <coughs> yeah. So mm. now fraud, yes, it's been alleged because we are even monitoring and videoing conduct of some of the officers undertaking it. And the speed, when they are in areas, and that's where political, when they are in areas which is deemed to be uh, uh, the popular areas of the ruling government, the posture is different. Mm. When they are in areas perceived to be zongos, and you don't treat people in Zongos as non ghanaians We've gone past the Martimi who days and days where you referred to uh, persons who lived in those areas as non ghanaian And essentially, we accept the principle that the decision is for all persons living in Ghana, but categorized for citizens and foreigners. Maybe my colleagues to have their take, and then I'll deal with it. So yes, mm. that is why the flag bearer have directed that investigate okay, it thank you. and establish the merits thank of you. the matter. So, thank so you. The, the NIA officials on the field, uh, Haruna had just, you know, informed you guys that they have some analysis who are filming you. Yes, and so monitoring what, what they are doing. Yes, um, Koku, um, it doesn't look like you really want to pursue <laughs> what, what has brought this matter as an agenda for discussion. <laughs> <laughs> you may, you do be abandoned. No, I'm saying you, you, don't, you don't look like you want to discuss that. I ask you whether you have abandoned the fraud claims or so. Yes, Koku, Not until it's investigated. Okay, Koku, let's hear you. Well, it's gratifying to hear that the NDC has now definitely made a U10 on the boycott of the exercise. It then didn't make sense to me. You don't sit in parliament participate in the legislative le deliberation, get the law passed, and then come outside parliament and begin to contest the issues. You check the hands out. There was no dissenting uh, voice. They all took part in it. You know, so it didn't make sense to me. And fortunately, let's be honest, they made the right decision to be part and parcel of this. Then those things that I hear when they talk in the fraud and things, so this is meant to help rig election 2020. Again, such an absurd proposition. They're saying there'll be a new uh, voters register and the basis will be your Ghana card. They are anticipating. Yes. They are speculating. They are conjecturing. And they are inviting us to run after this kind of thing. It's a wild good chase. No, but, but, but we cannot interrupt you. Look, see, this card, as far as we are concerned, every Ghanaian is supposed to have it. If at some point we even decide to link voting to that as a country, that doesn't mean that the fact that it's been linked, I will go and vote for somebody yeah. that I don't want it, to it, vote for. Well, we, should, we should even be doing that from the scratch. Yes, it's that's what we should be doing. Yeah. Thank you. So, so again, it's an absurd suggestion. And that the people are registering MPP elements for what purpose? It does, does, it, does it make sense? So it's okay. I've seen a statement from the NI right. uh, National uh, on the details, mm. and apparently one of their own officers, supervisors, first reported uh, misconduct, mm. and then the the machine that was sent to the private uh, residence is also now in the police custody. Those are specific cases of misconduct that should be investigated by the appropriate agencies, and the officers sanctioned, mm. but linking it to election rigging 
it's, it's such an absurd proposition. Okay. I don't think but we should the, 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 the statement they issued, they said on the alleged registration at a private residence, they said the equipment found in the said private residence belongs to the NIA. The equipment is referred to as a mobile registration workstation, MRW, which is used in capturing personal information of eligible applicants. The MRW on its own cannot be used to register and issue cards to an applicant. Before a card, a Ghana card is issued, an applicant must go through the following steps. A registration official interviews the applicant and assists him or her to fill an application form with the required personal details. An MRW operator then keys in personal details of the applicant from the completed application form and scans any other additional documents other than ID, SNAIL, DVLA, voters ID, etc. that the applicant may have. The MRW operator also captures the applicant's bi uh, biometric data, fingerprint, um, photograph, etc. as well as his or her signature. And then a printed slip specifying the information captured is given to the applicant to confirm that the information captured is accurate before the card can be printed. The card is printed after which the applicant is required to authenticate his or her fingerprint with a verification officer to render the card activated. Koku, do you find that what they are saying is that it is not possible that you can put it in some small room and, and come and say this is what is going on, it's, it, it can't work? Well, you see, but why was it in the room in the first place? Mm. <laughs> Who sent it there? What was the person's motive? Mm. It means that for you know, if the person belongs to the uh, authority, works with them as an employee, mm. it's possible that that was just the first leg of what the gentleman I mean, was the doing. So, yes, you see, this thing is it's not the election or politics; it's criminal. Right. For you know, they are making some money out of that. Mm. So whatever it is, let's focus on it as a criminal conduct. Well, the equipment is in the custody of the police yes, and they now, are cooperating with yes, the investigation. Yes, there could be some mercenary, some mm. commercial business somebody okay. wants to do. You know, but right. you so, so just, just a quick say, part, on what you read, just a quick yes. part. You know, mm. criminal minds will always want to operate such that they are even <laughs> faster than the systems. So what they have put there seems to put, I mean, paint a picture. They are telling you that so you don't have the it. full complement. Yes, but you <laughs> see, when people want to do criminal activities, they plan. They will tell you that, well, for all you know, they have even executed the first bit already. Or after this bit, they know how to complete it. The key thing is that we should not allow these things to happen. Sure. And then anybody who ought not to be on that register, depending on whichever category you want to play that person, we as citizens should also ensure that they do not get onto that register. Mm. And that will have to be done by no other group of persons than the NIA officials who are there. Mm. The rest of us can only come in. But you are the ones doing the inputting and issuing out the cards and all that. So at the least suspicion of somebody who ought not to be on the, that register, you should ensure that at least we make sure that person is cleared before we get there. Okay. We, we have a little time to perhaps talk about the commander issue, but um, we, we should we should, no, we, should no time. We, we should we should close um, on by 12.15. Oh, okay. That's what I understand. But the question is, following that Professor Tefa admits that there have been a few, you know, occasional one or two of these sort of illegal actions and that people have been caught and steps have been taken, can they be saying what they have said to conclude their statement when they say the integrity of the national identification system is intact and the authority will continue to ensure that the information captured into the National Identity Register will be protected from any kind of unauthorized, unauthorized access, that the integrity is intact. Can they be saying so? Well, the issue is that this is their first phase. Greater Accra is a big entity in terms of the number of people in and around Accra itself. Mm -hmm. So once these you know, about five, as he said, have been picked up. I think it would be very difficult to conclude that that alone is enough to say that the whole exercise has been compromised. Mm. But we cannot rule out the fact that if these things are allowed to continue, then, of course, ultimately, we will not have the right database that we want to build. 
And I'm sure that within their system, there should be provisions to ensure that even if you go through some stages of it, and it is found out that you got there illegally, they should be able to deal with that by expanding your name or whatever that has to be done. But we will urge them to ensure that because this is an exercise that will cover the whole country, whatever lessons that are being picked up here, we should deal with it such that mm. the officials themselves who are representing NIE will do the right things throughout the rest of the country. Teething problems will always come. So for me, for now, I'm ready to, in quotes, grant them that leverage, at least for the current ones that has happened, mm. and the fact that they are taking steps. Okay. The police are in charge of some of the equipment. People have been arrested. Some have been taken off the list of officials of the NIA and all that. So we should have confidence in the process and ensure that as citizens, we all participate fully for all of us to get those benefits. All right. You, you have your card? Yes, but I got my card somewhere in September. I was yeah. happy enough right. when you know the pilot when we were doing. Yes. Yeah, right. You wanted to make an intervention. Yes, uh, yeah. Samson, and mm. for you in the media to demand that now national identification and synchronization of data in Ghana, mm. the Ghana Immigration Service is holding on to data, which provides some clue to who are Ghanaian and not Ghanaian. Same registration of the NCA is data which provides some basis. The National Health Insurance Authority has some basis. The Electoral Commission has some basis. So in many instances, it's just for us to be able to synchronize the data because your biometric, just like those of you who are familiar and use iPhone, you can't change your biometrics. But the world has moved even beyond biodata. And I've said that we should go and learn from South Korea where they are using eyelashes, uh, and other Irish, Irish mm. to determine mm. the unique personality of any person. So I've seen NIA respond to me that is 240 million. That is not true. Not uh, 240. 14. They have said 124 million uh, in the in the component. The, the, the issue about the cost that you raised. Yes. Here, yes. And uh, you say it's uh, 1.2 billion. 2 billion. Yes. They have already reacted to you as as far back as uh, March. Yes. Um. So why do you you don't believe in and what they have told you? No. Even on the facts. If you and say 1.2 billion, mm. who is bringing what? I want to know the GOG component. Is it being financed from budget? Is it being financed from a loan facility or a grant facility? We need to know. Mm. And cumulatively over 15 years, even in one of the documents they submitted, persons who were to do SIM registration were to pay. That will come as an advantage or equity contribution of GOG. So my is that I stand by it. It is not 124 million. It cannot be. Hmm. And I'm saying that they have come to parliament for a tax exemption of 76 million US dollars. That is cost to the state, but an opportunity cost of giving they, it to they the had contractor. Explained, they had explained that mm -hmm. the cost of the project is jointly shared by the parties. And what and cost these, do you have? Read your yeah, cost from them. Wait, and these are the two parties. We are talking about uh, the, it's a private, a public-private partnership agreement between the NIA and the identity management system ims a subsidiary of the margins group of companies and they, and they were they dealing said, with that group even before yeah yeah, yeah. Mm. I, you remember how this mm. other mp was always against uh, mm. this without any evidence to support mm. his claims the cost of the project is jointly shared by the parties nia's component of the contract sum is 124 million 124 million which caters for the operations in both ghana and abroad to register and issue smart biometric chip embedded ID cards to all Ghanaians aged 15 years and over, and two dimensional barcode cards to all Ghanaians under 15 years old. The cost of the project to IMS is $169 million. All subsequent costs will be covered by proceeds from the project over the contract term of 15 years. Proceeds from so, which source? So, so what, what don't and you I understand? And I say proceeds from which source, and I'm a member of parliament, respectively. I've asked that which minister is supervising NIA must submit a paper to parliament 
on the financing regime of this entity. Mm. You just can't walk to Parliament and say grant tax exemption of 76 million US dollars. By their own estimate, in fact, Kweku has been fair, he shared some information with me, that 1.2 billion comes from them, not me, and even your advertisement for today's discussion, mm. I saw you use 1.4 billion. And I'm saying that what is GOG component against MIS or the contractor's component? That's why I raised the issue that how was the contract procured? Does that give the government and the people of Ghana value for money? Must you be doing this for 1.2 or you could do it for less? Mm. I hear the World Bank was involved there. Yeah, in mm. the, I'm not aware of any yeah. World Bank facility approved in Parliament. Person. No, World Bank, if they give any money, if it is a grant, mm. it won't come for parliamentary approval, but we would know. Mm. I'm not aware of but any... But, but, of the but, 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 but. They, they explained to you that the component to the IMS mm. is not going to come from government. Government is not going <coughs> to pay them any money. But, 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 but so, so, let me ask, let me, let me yeah. ask for a little clarification mm. here. It is clear that NIA is providing one, two, four million USD. Mm -hmm. Now, the bid that is coming from IMS, a private company, is it a grant to the people of Ghana or what? See, Are you I, getting I, it? Yeah. Where? Mm. Yeah. Where uh, Please go ahead. Yeah. See, you you know, go ahead. They, they are sort uh, of explaining, so I'm this, looking this, for. This thing that was sent to answer. me quite some time ago by mm. uh, mm. Professor mm. Atifa, Atifa mm. himself. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I'm sure it wasn't supposed to be embargoed. It was for my... <laughs> for <everybody. laughs> yes, yeah. so that I believe so. Mm. So, and you see, this is what it's stated here. Mm. Funding, under the section funding. It says the whole life cost mm. of the NIS project mm. is estimated at $1.2 billion over 15 years. Okay. With NIA bearing $531 million while... IMS takes the remaining 678 million. Ghana needs to raise only 124 million share of the cost as its initial contribution. Interesting. IMS, on the other hand, will raise its initial 169 million contribution in a mixture of debt and equity. All subsequent costs will be covered by proceeds from the project. The ability of the government of Ghana to provide adequate funding <coughs> in a timely <coughs> manner to support the project in line with its obligations mm. under the PPP agreement will be crucial to the success of the project. I don't know if this thing has been reviewed or revised. That's what we need to know. Otherwise... And um, they should apprise Parliament right. of mm. it. Okay. It okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, it's... Uh, uh, Martin, who has not spoken about mm. this yet, we had a uh, little yeah. additional time to talk about Commander. <laughs> but quickly, what do you say about what's going on with the NIA okay. and the card? Okay, so uh, basically, it's good that uh, eventually the uh, case of fraud is being thrown out, you see, at least. Because By initially it was. By yes. the uh, well, Yes, yes. Because initially it was worrying. You know, when news break, often. It, it, it would sound very... And then uh, description, massive fraud. Yes, <laughs> sensational. <laughs> but over the course of time, we've seen that, no, it's, it's not as big as it was first made out to look. So in, 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 uh, on that score, I'll say that it's, it's quite reassuring, that uh, this case. Because we need the card to have some kind of uh, integrity, mm -hmm. you say. Because as soon as the evils that bedeviled the voter ID card come onto this card, we are done. You say it. So it's very good that we're taking every step to make sure that these cards would give us the necessary confidence so that we'll be able to use them for the intended uh, purpose. Okay. All. all right. Thank you very much. Kuku uh, <coughs> is opening a document. I don't know if um, he's found any... <laughs> uh, on any new, or he's on yeah, command. <laughs> uh, any, any new, as it were, uh, <laughs> status updates on no. what we just concluded At all. on? Not. All right. Um, we do we have a break want to take and return to finish up or yep. Yeah, okay. Thank you very much. No.